MrsSperry.com presents Summaries of Yann Martell's Life of Pi, Author's Note in Chapter 1. Life of Pi begins with the author's note. Yann Martell, the author, says that his previous two books had not done well, so he decided to travel to get new ideas. The author leaves Toronto, Canada and crosses the Atlantic Ocean, going north of Africa to India, and finally arrives at Pondicherry, also known as Puducherry. The author meets with Francis Adira Busami in this coffee shop. Mr. Adira Busami tells him he knows a story. Francis Adira Busami tells the author to return to Canada to talk to Pai Patel. Adira Busami says Pai's story will make the author believe in God. The author does return to Toronto and he finds Pai's name in the phone book. The two men meet many times, and the author gets the details of Pi's story. Chapter 1 begins with the main character, Pi, now an adult, discussing his studies at the University of Toronto where he studied religion and zoology. Pi was especially interested in Isaac Luria's work and in studying the three-toed sloth. Note, what do you think gives you the most information about your own purpose in life, a study of religion or animals? To understand Life of Pi, you need to know a little about Isaac Luria. Luria lived from 1534 to 1572. He studied Jewish law and literature. He became a rabbi, teacher, who taught cosmogony, a theory of how the universe was created. Luria said that God was all and always existed. To make room for the world and people, God contracted. The contraction was called Simsum. God filled the emptiness with divine light carried in ten vessels. Seven vessels broke, but God gathered most of the shards to create five faces of reality. Now people must collect the shards that remain to make the universe whole and good again. Pi says that agnostics, people who do not know if God exists, are like sloths. Pi says sloths are slow, dumb, and fade into the background. Pi says that sloths do represent the miracle of life, and therefore God. Memento Mori, Remembrance of Death This picture of a wall in Venice, Italy, is an example of Memento Mori art. Pi says his life is like this art. This kind of art is a reminder that life is surrounded by death. Pi says he has suffered a lot. Pi says he tells the death skull at his side that he does not believe in death, adding that death envies life. Pi loves Canada, but says he misses India and Richard Parker. He appreciates the doctors and nurses of Mexico. Chapter 1 ends with Pi getting terribly upset in a restaurant in Canada when a waiter sees Pi eating with his hands instead of using a knife and fork. The waiter asks, Fresh off the boat, are you? To find out why Pi has such a strong reaction, you will need to continue reading about his amazing adventures at sea. The words fresh off the boat will become unforgettable to you, too. Note, Oprah Winfrey has something in common with the Canadian waiter. She visited India in January 2012 and commented on people eating with their hands. Many Indians felt insulted. To learn more about Oprah's trip to India, you can conduct an internet search using the terms Oprah, eating with hands, and India. One link is listed below.